Nothing remarkable about the building from the outside. But inside, it houses stack upon stack, row after row of baseball cards, 32 million of them in all. It's the largest collection of its kind, and it's the property of a 45-year-old kid named Larry Fritch. I accumulated cards all through the 40s and 50s and 60s as a youngster growing up, and uh, just never quit collecting, as a lot of people do, even during the years when uh, most collectors quit collecting for discovering girls, participating in athletics, uh, going to college and things like that, I still continued my collection. The collection now includes such gems as this 3D card worth about $500, a set of 1916 Cracker Jack cards worth $10,000, and the most valuable single card of all, a 1909 Hannes Wagner, which on the open market would fetch about $25,000. While these rare cards aren't for sale, just about everything else is. In fact, Fritch publishes and mails his own catalog to other collectors who place orders for some five million cards a year. In other words, this hobby has made Larry Fritch a wealthy man, although he did have to pay a certain price. Back in the 60s and 50s, when a person collected baseball cards that was past the age of 15, he was looked upon as being a little bit different. Uh, oh, that's that crazy Larry Fritch. You know, I've heard that story so many times. Uh, of course, that's all changed today. It certainly has changed. Collecting baseball cards is now a respectable hobby. And among collectors, there's no doubt that Larry Fritch is the big kid on the block. I am Paul Budline.